Hi, I'm Ken Bykoff. Surprising news out of Indiana football is quarterback Trey Roberson announced Wednesday that he'll be leaving the Hoosier program to head to new opportunities elsewhere. Roberson would have headed into fall camp facing another round of competition with junior Nate Sudfeld, but he apparently wasn't interested in spending another year filled with week-to-week uncertainty. Roberson was a talented kid, a former Mr. Football who became one of the few true freshmen to start at quarterback at Indiana. He was athletic, he was fast, and he had a good arm, and he was poised to be a star as a sophomore before a broken leg just two games in destroyed his season. Now, he bounced back last year to throw for 1,128 yards and 15 touchdowns versus just four interceptions, and he tied a school record by throwing for six touchdowns in the Old Oak and Bucket game last season to beat rival Purdue. Oh, and he also rushed for 423 yards and five touchdowns last year to boot. But the competition between Roberson and Sudfeld wasn't necessarily what was best for the IU program. The uncertainty over who would start from week to week became another distraction, and it didn't do anything to help the development of either young quarterback. Now, going forward, Sudfeld has the body and the skills to become a pro prospect. I mean, the kid's 6'5", he has a good arm, he has a good head on his shoulders, and with the knowledge that he's the clear front runner to be the starter, he'll have a chance to blossom. On the other hand, Roberson's departure leaves IU without a proven backup quarterback, and for a program that has suffered injury injury issues at the position in the recent past, the pressure will be on the Hoosiers to protect Sudfeld at all costs. He's the best fit for IU's offense, but there's no question Roberson's decision leaves Indiana with a lack of depth. Now, improving on defense will be the other key for Indiana next year, but for the time being, IU's quarterback situation finally appears to be settled. For Campus Insiders, I'm Ken Bykoff.